Hey, it's Kevin. Thank you for coming by for another No BS Social Media Chat. A lot of people who I engage with, just on a social basis, even on a professional basis, say they struggle sometimes with social media because they don't understand some of the nuances, some of the facets of some of the sites. They don't understand the ins, the outs. They don't understand social media. They don't understand the game that it's become, the game you have to play. And I joke with people and I tell them to treat it like a game. And they look at me like I'm crazy. But this is important. People tell me I need this for my career. I said, like, yes. But you have to think of it in terms of like putting a puzzle together. Or back in the old days, uh, and I'll admit I was a, a, a geek, if you will, I used to play strategic war games like Stratego and Risk and even some of the early computer games where you had to say, okay, you walk into a room, you have to try to find your way out. Some of those old antique vintage video games where you're actually done with computer keyboard strokes and not joysticks. So I was engaged in a lot of those, and you'd walk into rooms like, okay, I'm going to try to have to find my way to get out of here. What do I got to do? What can I do? It was a game. It was a mental, strategic game, if you will. And you sometimes have to think about social media in that way as a social, you know, strategic game as to how you play the system. There are certain ways to win at Facebook, and currently with Facebook, the way to win is not necessarily with what you're posting. It's engaging with people on those posts. I've had the hardest time getting people to understand that in order to win with Facebook right now, it's about the comments you make back to the people who engage in your post. It's about the going back and forth. That's where you're going to get rewarded with more visibility. The more you do it, the better. A lot of times, too, it's almost like scheduling appointments. I was telling one of my artists recently, we were talking about she was doing some Facebook Live stuff, and she does usually really well with Facebook Live stuff. I said, but the biggest problem is you don't tell people ahead of time, hey, tomorrow at such and such time, I'm going to do a Facebook Live. Because if people catch it on the fly, they catch it, but you want to get them excited about it. You want to get them thinking about you doing something special, and you're going to get more engagement. So what happens? She promotes one afternoon, hey, tomorrow at X, I think 8 o'clock or something like that, I'm, I'm going to do a Facebook Live. And she had one of her best engaged Facebook Lives in a while. Now, we did have some technical issues, and that's more Facebook-driven with her Internet and, and you know, the video feed and the audio feed and some cutting in and some cutting out. It drives us both crazy because we want perfection. But at the end of the day, as I said, it didn't matter because she engaged with the fans. And they weren't looking at the quality. They were looking at the quality of the content she was providing. They, they kind of accept the technical aspects, and I think a lot of us do these days. There are just some things I'll accept. Driving around with my Sirius XM radio, I drive near the airport, and I lose my Sirius for about four or five minutes because whatever their radar signals are jamming it or whatever it is, and it's just kind of like I have to accept it. It's like back in the old days when we were driving down a, uh, through a tunnel or something like that, and our AM radios, and I know I'm dating myself here, our AM radios would go out. You know, FM kind of helped with a lot of that, but even then when I went through the tunnels back in, in Virginia Beach back in the day, crossing the, the Hampton Roads Bridge and Tunnel, you'd lose your radio. It just kind of happened when you're in your, in your biggest depths. There are some technologies, if you will, we just can't escape, we can't avoid, and that's okay. People are, are looking for the quality content. They're looking for the meat of the subject, and you're getting benefits from engaging back with them. It's not necessarily just about the people watching or paying attention at that moment. It's about then keeping them going and keeping them engaged and keeping it up for a couple of days. Same thing with Twitter. I mean, you're looking for more retweets. You're looking for more likes and follows and loves and things like that. And it's important to create content that plays that. The hardest part is that some people don't want to look at social media strategically in any way. And I think you have to now more than ever. You have to, I hate to say game the system, but that's almost what I call it. I call social media a game. It was much like when I was in radio. Yes, you wanted the most listeners you could, but there were certain, I hate to say, games you could play to you know, work around the Arbitron rating system. There were certain games you could affect on air that would get people to get excited about it, get people talking about you. And that was more important than actually getting them to listen. It was almost a perceived listening of whenever they heard country music, in my case, you wanted them to think they were listening to the radio station, whether they were or weren't. It was just country music, radio station, country music, radio station. It could have been a CD player. It could have been something else, but you wanted them to equate the two together. It was a game of being top of mind. Same thing with social media. I mean, imagine... Again, are people thinking about your small business? Are people thinking about you as a recording artist or, or as a charity? No, they're not. Unless you continually engage with them, unless you continually, well, play games. And it's not, games are, isn't a negative connotation here. It's about understanding the system and playing to the strengths of the system. That's why I started separating out my Instagram accounts, because I knew that certain people like certain things. So I found an audience to like neon signs, and that's all I gave those people. And then I tried to play with the neon signs and say, well, what will you like, what won't you like? Then I did the same thing with my other pages, and I just kind of niched them out a little bit and say, okay, I'm gaming here. I, I want the most amount of eyeballs, but more importantly, I want to play the game of getting the most likes, the most comments, the most engagement, 
because that's sadly, when it comes to professional you know, social media, that's what it's become. Play the game. Think about it in terms of a game. Strategy, and you'll win. It, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be quick and fast. It's a marathon, not a sprint, but you'll do okay. Back next week, another no BS social media um, the, no video, I guess you'd say, or, or chat, if you will. NoBSSocial.com or website. Find us on Facebook. Got them up as well on YouTube. Hope you'll come on by if you want me. Phone number, email address are coming up. Back next week. Thanks.